Hello and welcome to the TES Secondary Maths Resource of the Week number 106 with me Craig Barton. Now there are two issues that really bug me um, and in particular these issues come to light in the build up to the GCSE Maths exam. The first is students not being aware what key math vocabulary actually means. Now a classic example of this that springs to mind is the word evaluate. I had one of my year 11s come to me the other day and he will remain nameless but you know who you are. Um, and he, the reason he uh, gave for leaving out a key question in his uh, maths homework and just leaving the question completely blank was that he was claiming I'd never taught him what the word evaluate means. Um, and to be fair he was, he was probably right. And evaluate isn't just a unique example of this. There's product, sum, describe, discuss, explain. All these words that pop up regularly in maths questions and in maths exams. And that if the students don't know what they mean, then they've got zero chance of being able to answer the question successfully. And in the past, I've sought to tackle this issue by doing one-off maths vocab lessons. But the problem, of course, with doing anything for a, a one-off lesson is that it doesn't stick in the students' heads. It needs to be continually drip-fed drip into their brains until it becomes common practice. So that's the first issue. The second issue, um, and I don't know if this is true at your school, but certainly in the build-up to exams um, in Year 11, we tend to dedicate a lot of tutor time or form time uh, to math-specific activities. But of course, the fundamental flaw with this is, if the form teacher um, is not a math specialist, then it can become a little bit counterproductive, and it's, it's quite unfair to expect them to be able to deliver some math-specific sessions. I know I won't exactly be over the moon to be asked to deliver a bit of Latin or a bit of science or something like that. So, given those two issues, and quite pertinent issues, you can imagine my delight when I came upon this wonderful resource, Developing Mathematical Vocabulary Form Time Activities, which has been uploaded by MH Hyde. Now it's just a single PowerPoint and it's a very simple resource, but it's a very effective resource. I'll just show you what it looks like. Um, it's got, I think, eight weeks worth of material. Um, and designed to be used in, in form time, but obviously um, if you have more than one a week you, you, can, you can kind of mix and match it however you like. But each week has three words, uh, three key words that pop up in GCSE exams, um, and in each time the students are prompted to discuss what they mean, make a maths question using one of the words, I love that, and then ask your question to another student. So we've got all the classics, some different product, there's my nemesis there, e evaluate, we've got calculate, find, fractions, percentage, decimals, reducing, decrease, increase, and so on. Now what I particularly like about this, as well as the kind of structure of it, and as I say in particular, make a maths question using one of these words, is we've got support here for um, for non-math specialist teach, uh, form teachers because for each week there's examples given for questions that can be used um, for, for each of those words. So if you've got a student struggling, um, the teacher can give them a bit of a prompt. And it's absolutely lovely stuff, really nice ones. Now, of course, those questions as well can be used as questions to, to challenge your students. Project those up on the board at the end of form time. Can you answer each of those? Now, these words, you might be looking at them and saying, well, they're quite simple words, those. Um, and indeed, this resource is designed both for Key Stage 3 and Foundation Maths as well. But it's not going to take much for you to think of your own words that could go there. Prove, for example, is one, one that springs to mind, or justify. So a very easy resource to adapt and extend and, and take as far as you need to. But I just thought it was a really nice, simple structure that could be used either in form time or tutor time or even in math lessons itself. Once a week, pop that up at the start or the end of the lesson and it just will promote a bit of discussion and it might just uncover an, an Achilles heel that your students have for a word that they've just not come across before and they're not entirely comfortable with. So there it is, developing mathematical vocabulary. Hope you found that useful, and I'll be back with a fresh resource of the week next week. Take care, and bye for now.